So I just thought I would come and show a video of Chandler. Um, I just rooted his hair, so I thought I was really proud that I got his hair rooted. I'm, I don't think I'm going to trim the... I was thinking maybe I'll trim the back, but I actually like my baby's hair to run down the nape of their neck. Um, because my babies were pretty hairy and their hair kind of laid around the nape of their neck. So he is like perfect newborn size. Let's see if I can. So I will do another video clip of him once I flip him over and all that jazz, but I just thought I would share him in video. Hope you guys like him. He is Chandler by Melody Hess. And you can order your own cuddle baby from MelodyHessDolls.com. And so this is the front of Chandler. And Chandler is the Chandler Sculpt by Melody Hess, painted and rooted by me. Let me give you guys a little bit more light so you guys can see. He has an open mouth so he can take a pacifier. I believe it's like partially open. Um, if you need to deepen it, you can. This is his hair. Just want to share him. But I love that he's a perfect newborn size. So he's not, you know, he can fit newborn clothes and so it won't be as hard to shop for him. So, and he has very detail ears. I love his ears. If you guys can see um, the sculpting on it is very detailed. But I will take pictures of him. This is his his fist. This is his fist. So. His fist and his hand. And the inside, okay. Hello, Lola's. So I have here today um, the prototype number one, Chandler, sculpted by Melody Hess. He is a silicone cuddle baby. So Chandler is a silicone cuddle head that you can buy separate. She also sculpted hands and feet to go that will go with him, but also will go with some of her other um, cuddle heads that she has because she does have some other ones. She has one that's really cute too that I wanted. I may end up getting it. I don't know. I, I, I'm trying not to keep painting all these cuddle babies, but I just, I love them so much. She has another one. I think, I think she's called Maeve or something like that. Anyway, um, I really like that one too. But nevertheless, that one is, I think, smaller than him. He is a newborn size. Um, I think the other one might be more of a preemie. I don't know. But anyway, so I'm here to sh share with you uh, Chandler. Chandler actually surprised me and looked really cute as a girl because I had a pink towel wrapped around um, him after I washed his hair, after I was got done rooting. Sorry, I closed the door. But... He, he just really looks cute as this sculpt looks really cute as a girl too. So that's really nice. I may, uh, y'all know I, I don't really like switching my babies over to another gender once I done several on one gender. But I may dress him as a girl so that you guys can see that this sculpt is versatile and can be really cute as a girl too. I'm a super boy mom so... He is going to remain a boy. I actually really like the name Chandler too. I think I almost feel like I had a baby named Chandler before. So anyway, um, I would keep Chan. I probably would keep the name Chandler as well. But 
nevertheless um i just thought i would come on and share him with you guys i did do a short video kind of showing like his um I was showing, I think it's brooding. Um, now the body that you choose is going to make a big difference for for some of you guys. Um, everybody likes different bodies. I am using a Reggie Ann's body. Um, there's, you know, Bountiful Baby, MacPherson, um, Irresistible. There's a lot of other places. And then, you know, there's people that do custom bodies. A lot of places that you can get cuddle bodies if you want. Um, it's up to your preference. I like the Reggie Ann bodies because I love the way they pose. And like I asked, told you guys in my, my other video, posing is a big to-do for me with my babies. I like to be able to pose them. And I also like for them to feel pretty heavy and feel like an actual real baby. So I like the the heaviness of her bodies and how they pose so some people may not um care for that and yeah so those are his hands and so he has a, a you know i love this hand it's you know open expressive but not like a startled look and then he has a a nice fist it's sculpted pretty nice and his mouth I'm gonna turn see if I could turn him <laughs> try not to get him the light so I can't see what you guys can see oh so all right I know I'm in the light. And he has very detailed ears, like his the 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 little um part, the little uh, ear canal part is so deep. It looks like he really have an eardrum. Is that what you call it? I don't know what you, uh, you know what I'm talking about though. So, I really really love that um and just everything about him is sculpted really really nice. Um I love well you guys may not know that. Some of you guys that might be new may not know that about me. I am one for sculpting. I love beautiful sculpting. Um, whenever I can get a baby that's well sculpted, I'm gonna always go cuckoo bananas over it. Um, because I, I just I just think that's a big part of the realism. We can. You know, we can paint the babies as real as we want, but if they don't have some type of realism to them, it's just not going to work. So I do love that about him. So he and he does his mouth is open. I think it's sculpted. Um, I'm pretty sure it's sculpted partially open. Um, his mouth was deep in a little bit more just because I just, you know, wanted to be able to just really be able to use any pacifier that I want um but his mouth is sculpted in a open position so um there's that so he has one ball fist and one open hand and then he has this you know one foot kind of stretched out and then the other one is kind of curled and I like that too so he's he's got a lot going on different things and this little outfit like I said is a little baggy on him but say we work in it and the bottom of his feet is pretty cool too the detail it just they they just look like real you know newborn feet dainty little feet not you know super fat or anything like that just really nice feet so I really like that um so I'm gonna go ahead and 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 say it because <laughs> I've gotten a lot of inquiries about him. Um, I did decide that I will be keeping him for my personal collection. I just think he will be a great addition to my collection. Um, I still have, um, well, well, we'll talk about that in another 
a, another video but um yeah so if you guys are interested in getting a blank kit um, for either yourself to paint or your favorite artist to paint um, the website is uh, melodyhessdolls.com so that's m-e-l-o-d-y-h-e-s-s-d-o-l-l-s -S -S dot c-o-m <laughs> Um, so yeah, so just, um, make sure that you get on there. I believe the head itself is like $185. Don't quote me on that, but, um, and then you can add the hands and feet come as a set and that's an additional price. Um, but I think it's very, very fair because it's beautifully sculpted hands and feet and a beautiful head. So I would probably do both. But I think just having the head alone is really cute too. Um, and also you don't have to worry about like when you're dressing your babies, you don't have to worry about, you know, bright colors and all that stuff ruining the paint jobs and stuff like that or staining it when you just have the cuddle head itself. Um, with the hands and feet, you still have a lot more freedom because you don't, you're not worried about the limbs and the body because it's on a cloth. Um... You just, you know, you could put on hand mitts and socks when you put the clothes on so that it doesn't, you know, drag cr cross or whatever. And so that's another thing I like about the cuddle bodies. I don't have to feel limited in my dressing and worried about if I'm doing too much or I'm, you know, changing them too often because it works. I don't have to worry about that because they're mostly, mostly cloth and, you know, it just it works out so but yeah so I'm gonna stop this video here and then I will come back and talk to you guys about something else so <laughs> um, yeah so if you are interested go to her website and go ahead and order if you guys are not subscribed to this channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button click the bell to be a part of the notification squad don't forget if you want to see where I sell my dolls and where I'm posting it at I'm posting it in the Chatterbox, which is a paid channel membership. It is $4.99. You have to be at least 18 years old and older to join. Um, that's here on YouTube. But my main page now that I'm really focused on and making sure I always upload when a baby is for sale is going to be my Facebook business page, Miss Serenity Smith. And it's not one that you have to send a request. Um, I'm not accepting any new requests on my profile page because I want everybody to follow me on the actual business page. And also, you guys know I'm on uh, Instagram as Miss Serenity Smith Babies. So, thank you guys once again for watching. Also, thank you guys for all your kind words and encouragement. It means the world to me. I truly, truly appreciate you guys. I would not be great without you. Thank you.